Folks, we have an awesome estate sale we thought you might want to see right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey, thanks a lot, guys, for coming by. You know, we're going to have some fun. If anybody watched our Russian collection, okay, I had started a collection of these, this Russian fairy tale collection of plates, seven and a half inch, was produced by the Bradford Exchange. And I just went nuts about them. Now, there's a few series. The first 12 plates, I think, were uh, produced in 1988, and it goes on from there. And when I first looked on the back and went, uh-oh, it's all in Russian, which I do like, you know, studying a bit as of late. And at the bottom it says Bradex number, and I'm going, uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I better make sure I'm saying, telling it right. So it is, it's just exquisitely done, folks. I went nuts about it. So... We're always checking the estate sales and Angela come up with one that was looked like it was just loaded. Now normally after two days like you've heard me tell before they go to 50% off. <laughs> this one went to 75% off. And the best I've ever done on these plates before online is 10 bucks a piece plus shipping okay I just got seven plates because it was the third day now they see they start panicking when things aren't moving like they should and they decided to go to 75% off there was furniture there that make your hair stand on end and I'm still I'll never get over it because I wasn't prepared for what we saw, like a Thomasville, probably a 12 drawer Queen Anne high boy. It was in such good shape, it looked brand new. Okay, they had 500 on it the first day. Still there the third day. That dresser was a hundred and twenty five dollars I'll kick myself forever on that one <laughs> it should have come home even if I had to carry it around on my back because there's nowhere to put it Angela says well you could have replaced your dresser and put it there it is better than my dresser but I like my dresser too, and then I'd lose everything, you know, because it's a high boy, I'd lose everything on the wall from my dresser up. <laughs> so, just, oh my goodness, the being there at the right time and the right hour is what it's all about. It's still a joy and a lot of fun. So, guys, I got seven of these beautiful Russian legend plates for $2.50 a piece. Okay. Like that wasn't good enough. Each one, some of them aren't even out of the bag. Okay. Each one comes with a cool hanger. Push them out to grab the plate. Each one. It's like a spring-loaded push button. Real makes it real easy. Now you've heard me mention this brand before. And the one I just the piece I just showed in a Christmas in June collection was the uh, cake plate for Christmas by Andrea of Japan. So this plate, it's a serving plate. Look at how perfect and cute. Blue and white, 
Can't go wrong there, right? We all love it. Andrea series made in Japan. There's not a flea bite, there's not a nibble, a nothing. There's not a hairline. 250 today, folks. <laughs> Jeez. And here we go. You know our crackle glass collection. Now this could fit in Angela's amethyst collection too. We'll see if it makes it that far. You know, if I'm heading toward the doghouse, I might have to pull this card, right? All right, so it's beautiful. And this is from the 60s, maybe into the 70s. And its little label is gone, so but I'll guarantee this is out of West Virginia, one of the companies out of there. What else do we have? Now you saw, even recently in our Rearrange the China Cabinets, they're right here. I'll have to show that again, maybe with the... Angela can find anything, though. She's so sharp. This is a series in the white porcelain of the geisha. This one has a vase of flowers and we never had this size, so I'm really excited about it. You've seen the other ones. I used it with the blue and white. It's just fabulous. Guys, it's numbered and has a proper foil label still on it. Okay, this was a dollar fifty at the sale. All righty, Angela found this, and I gotta say, even though it's a flower, it is a heartthrob of mine because my mother collected these. You'll see them in our things from time to time on a shelf in the porcelain flowers and it's usually on a stick or a piece of wood looking it's all porcelain but it you know it's depicted on a, a log or a stick or a branch look at this butte okay unbelievable it has a little felt so it doesn't scratch your tabletop or shell just exquisite I thought two dollars Alrighty, so speaking of Angela's finds, she's got the cutest, cute hat boxes. I said, absolutely, don't turn any down. Now, she wanted these for her closet. She's got a few. And of course, they're wonderful to hold. Well, if they were mine, they'd be holding Christmas stuff. <laughs> Look how cute this box. This is a little more of an upgrade because it's got the, un the ribbon handles and the ribbon goes through the rim of the top on the box. Okay. 250 today, folks. This is your typical rope pull box. If you want to carry it like that, that still has the store price on it, which was 10 Today at the sale, $2. $2 for that beauty. And those will be so cute in her closet with their other ones. And they're full of goodies, you know, scarves and hats and Another beaut, I saw this, the label, the price tag was still on it, so I grabbed, that was hanging off the lid, so I grabbed that, and that went around the house in my hand till I could come back and get it all. So nobody else would want it or claim it. It's a 30s or 40s Nippon Cocoa Pot. There is a tiny hairline 
on the bottom, most people understand these are collectibles. You're not going to crank out the pot cocoa or put this in the, on the stove or the microwave, you know, or, or put screaming hot liquid in this. You're just not going to do it today. They are totally vintage collectibles. This is a real winner. Look at the floral pattern. It's absolutely exquisite. The hand painting work is loaded on here with the cobalt blue trim and then the 22 karat gold trim on top of that. You're just gonna be furious about the price. I, I still can't believe it. The Demitas cup and saucer so you can get a good look at them. Okay, five of them. So this set is probably complete. If it's not complete, it's only missing one cup. Now you gotta understand, the first day originally, this had $50 on it, okay? Nobody was interested in it for two days. So, Jeff and Angela comes along on the third day at a whopping 75% off. Guys, $12.50. It's almost embarrassing. The estate sale was a doozy. <laughs> and the cocoa set is a dandy. That's all I can say about it. Oh my goodness, just so thrilled. Now I've got to step back a bit and take you to the shop with me, Antique and Vintage video, which you just saw. You're gonna see before this goes up on the air. And that was Jeff's Antique Mall. And I did pick up two things from there. And then, of course, one is a gift for Angela, so I can't show it. <laughs> you keep hearing that, but you see, I'm building Christmas presents already. So it's not a burden when Christmas comes, like a freight train, like it always seems to. So. I want to show the one thing I got at Jeff's and then there's a store attached to Jeff's. I didn't have time and it wasn't really orderly to show it on film at the time. They were moving things and rearranging and I thought That's, this is not the day to show this store, but my best find out of everything that's here came out of a little store attached to Jeff's Antique Mall called Vintage and Art. Okay, it's just simply called Vintage and Art. And I'm going to have to, they're, they're not here in the dining room. Really thrilled with that. Now, I'm gonna have to take you and show you the two bigger pieces that I got. So folks, what was so exciting about the bus is if you look up in a popular catalog, there's a couple different ones. For a bus that size, I call it half actual size. You can 
see a bus that size for $275. And they're made out of designer resin. That's it. That's all they are. Okay. These two are bonded marble made in Italy. It's everything to pick one up. And I got them both for two seventy. Off the chain good. We didn't have anything that nice in a bonded marble statue at all. So that really adds to a lifetime collection and we're just tickled with it as you can imagine. Now back to the Vintage Mermaid. I did pick up something cute. You saw me mention on the half off table. It's this beautiful urn. It's certainly vintage. It would have to be a hundred years old to be antique. So it's early and it's not a precious metal because you can see underneath the patina you know what it is it's probably like a spelter tin and zinc it's got a simple hollow handle pinched on soldered on but what i loved about it was the etching on it quite intricate and beautiful and then the natural patina with the coloring of the metal coming off, you see more of a zinc tin combination underneath. But the oxidation of the metal turning it green made it just beautiful to me. So this was like $24 and I put its value at maybe forty dollars so they did okay and i think we did okay <laughs> just love it nice people cute store all righty what do we have from jeff's that i can show that's not a gift <laughs> okay here's mr brass bull because i'm a taurus when i was young my Mom had got me a cute hand-carved wooden towards the bowl, and I remember his horn was broke off, and then, you know, with all the moves and going in the service and everything, that, that was gone, so I don't know what happened to him. So I've always wanted one. You know, I wanted a better one. I've been looking online, and you'll know what I mean if you even go and look. There's one that's equal to this size, $49, okay? And it's bronze. Now this guy is brass. I don't need everything to look the same. Now he had some funny rub spots and wear spots. So I took and made him the way you see him now. And it's really the reverse of my bronzing technique where I take just a little bit of the dark and go over the bad spots okay so this is a bronzing technique in reverse if you will especially when i tell you he was fifteen dollars compared to the one online that was forty nine dollars okay so folks, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over. Send your girlfriend over, you know we'll make it fun. And look, we want to say hello to some of our friends. You know it, Tina Ferguson. Hello, Tina. And Oneida and Dino. Lori. Diener, Mary Poole, and Rainbow Cats, 
Take care now. Thanks, girls, for coming over. And look, folks, with all the goofy things going on, don't be afraid to be happy. Smile and be happy. We're going to get through it all. And we'll see you in the next over-the-top collector video.